Welcome, boys and girls, to the ark today, because we want to talk about one of God's great heroes of faith, uh, Noah. At a very young age, Noah decided that no matter what everyone else did, uh, he was going to trust and believe God. Um, so when God looked at the earth and everyone on it, uh, when he saw Noah, he saw a righteous man. That doesn't mean that he was perfect and that he never sinned, because the Bible says there is no one, no human, except the Lord Jesus who uh, hasn't sinned. But each day, uh, he wanted to please and obey God. And so God saw him as a righteous man. So when he was an older man, God chose him to build this huge boat to save himself, his family, and all the uh, animals that lived on dry land. It was to be 450 to 522 feet long, uh, 75 feet wide, and over 70, uh, 45 feet high, uh, with three th with three stories to it. Uh, and he was to build it with uh, rooms and cages uh, for the animals. Probably took him uh, 75 to 80 years uh, for he and his family, um, and probably hundreds of people that he employed from the community uh, to build the ark um, so that the uh, animals and, and uh, anyone who wanted to, uh, no one in his family, would be kept safe uh, during the judgment that was coming. In fact, uh, let's go uh, inside and see what uh, some of the rooms might have looked like um, that Noah built. So as you can see, uh, there are places for each of the male and female of each kind of animal uh, that God brought to Noah uh, for them to uh, be fed and watered and taken care of. It's important that you re uh, realize they were different kinds of animals that God brought to Noah. Uh, he didn't bring uh, each uh, species of uh, animals uh, for Noah. Uh, for example, today we have many species or varieties of dogs. We have greyhounds and chihuahuas and beagles and uh, golden retrievers. Um, but all of these dogs came from a, a, a wild wolf-like animal. Uh, over the past several hundred years, uh, breeders have been able to um, develop all the different varieties of, of uh, domestic dogs that we have uh, from um, the dog, uh, dog kind. And so Noah brought two of the dog kind on the ark. He didn't bring, uh, he didn't have to bring poodles and greyhounds. He brought two of the cat kind, um, uh, two of the cattle kind. Um, now, as far as dinosaurs go, they, we, from the fossil record, we have determined there were probably about 50 kinds of dinosaurs at the time. And so he would have brought two of each kind of uh, T-Rex, two of each kind of uh, Stegosaurus, um, uh, from the, each of the kinds of, of dinosaurs. And notice that um, he would have brought the uh, juvenile, uh, God would have brought the juvenile creatures to him because these would be the animals that would uh, reproduce and fill the earth. And so they would need to have many uh, generations of offspring. And so uh, he surely wouldn't have brought the uh, full-grown um, dinosaurs who were ready to, uh, who were coming to the end of their lives to, to, uh, to repopulate the earth. He would have brought the young juvenile animals uh, to Noah. Um, even, the, uh, even the largest dinosaurs, the, their eggs were about the size of a, of a football. And so, uh, their juveniles would have easily fit into cages and rooms that Noah had built for them. Um, and it was on this uh, structure and in these rooms that Noah and his uh, built, uh, they would live on this boat for over a year. Uh, so you think being cooped up in uh, one place uh, um, for several months is hard. Uh, Noah and his family uh, were to live on this boat, um, take care of the animals for over a year uh, while God brought judgment uh, upon uh, the earth. 
Now, during the time that Noah was building the ark, uh, the Bible says that he was a preacher of righteousness. That means he warned the people and told them that they needed to change and repent, turn from their sin, and trust God, um, because God was going to send judgment uh, on the earth. But they had never seen a global flood before, and so they mocked and laughed at uh, Noah and um, thought he was crazy for believing um, that God would destroy all the earth and, and uh, all the uh, animals on dry land. And so during that uh, 75, 80 years, um, he preached, but nobody, when it came time to get on the ark, no one except Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives um, trusted uh, God and got on the ark. Um, even, even when they saw God bringing the animals to Noah and, and them getting on the ark, uh, yet they did not want to believe um, what God said. And so they didn't get on. And so God um, uh, uh, brought Noah and his family and the animals uh, into the ark. And the Bible says they closed the door. Uh, and after that, the um, fountains of the deep broke up. Uh, in other words, a huge uh, um, uh, fractures uh, occurred on the earth's surface and in the ocean depths and the volcanic uh, activity in the ocean uh, created huge uh, tsunamis to bring water on the earth and the floodgates of heaven opened and for 40 days and 40 nights the global the flood uh, destroyed uh, the living things on the on the earth um, in fact, uh, after the global rains, uh, it continued to rain, the Bible tells us, for uh, up to 150 days um, until the waters uh, were over the mountaintops by about 22 and a half feet. Um, and it was during this time, during the flood and the splitting up of the, the continents, um, that uh, the huge mountain ranges would begin to be formed. Uh, uh, during that flood period. And so uh, after a year's time um, being on the ark, God brought it to rest on the mountains of, of Ararat. So after about a year and 10 days, uh, God uh, told Noah to open the door of the ark and let the animals um, leave the ark and spread and fill the earth with new new life um, now remember uh, noah didn't bring fish and and water creatures uh, on on the ark um, enough of them would survive a flood um, and even the insects would have easily survived on log grass on the uh, ocean uh, waters uh, during that period of time it was only uh land animals um that uh, God uh, brought to Noah on the ark and that then went from the ark to fill the earth. Um, and Noah was uh, so grateful that God saw fit to preserve him and his family. He built an altar to God and thanked God for his mercy and his salvation. Um, because Noah was faithful and trusted God, God kept him safe. And boys and girls, um, no matter what comes to pass um, in your life, uh, if you trust and obey God, God um, will take care of us. Um, and one day, uh, he has promised to come and to take us home to be with him. Uh, I trust that you, like Noah, will be ready for that time and that you will um, believe what God says in his word and trust him and obey. And uh, I trust that uh, soon we will be able to be back together uh, studying God's word in his house very soon. Until then, uh, keep uh, reading God's word, uh, believing it. Uh, and as you have opportunity, share uh, what God has done in your life with those around you uh, and with your family. Uh, have a blessed day.